Well, today's topic that I had pulled out of here is gathering around the power of community. So I've done a reading here, and uh, this is about coming together and being, um, the challenges being supportive, keeping one going forward and not staying stuck in the past. So what we have is the hidden things the hidden things, maintaining a balance, a grounded energy. Subconscious is about moving forward. Again, taking the energy, moving forward, um, above it, aiding others, having the community, energy surrounding it is Again, looking at energy, how to move forward, how to make a plan, the foundation to, to make progress, to be able to continue to move things. Um, in the past, we have maybe a lot of uh, mistaken notions, a lot of pie in the sky things, so many things to transition through. And so the hope is to have Somebody there that knows, that can give you the path forward, that can aid, you know, to, to there's that word again. I'm really trying to stop saying you know so much. Very bad habit. But uh, yeah, somebody there that can give uh, some guidance that's been there before, knows the direction, can give a map. Because people are going forward, They've got their burdens that they're carrying, and so communication, the community gives a way to come together to be supportive, to be supportive, to have a place of celebration, a place of, um, you know, where you can relax and be yourself, okay? So the only thing I ask on this channel is that people come and they're respectful. They're not coming in snarky, not coming in to take a dump. This is like my living room. People here uh, come in and we have a nice community here. I think we also have a pretty nice community among the readers, tarot readers, and, and uh, some spiritual community, okay? So there are those that, of us out here that just want to give the best. This is why I started a uh, online ashram that I've had going for quite some time, and it's for people going through the Kundalini journey. Uh, it's a supportive place for them. And we have also the Energy Connection Group, which is on here. We meet once every Sunday for a half hour meditation. Uh, it's a whole dollar a month. Yeah, I'm really bake, breaking people's banks out there. I'm getting rich off of this. <laughs> the dollar a month. And it has, um, on that site, it has practices, a lot of different practices. It has a um, the energetic connection uh, mantra that's, that's just being given out on this path. Uh, also, there's a contemplation of self which expands consciousness. There is a musical journey. There is on how to understand ritual, how to set up an altar if you want to do that, how to do contemplative meditation. A lot of information on there, uh, ongoing. And so when you join, you have access to everything that's on there from day one. Okay, so that's available for people, the energetic connection. So if you are interested in that, you go to the community page and there is a thing there for memberships. I'll see if I can find a 
URL for that for people that want to join. So, yeah, every every Sunday we do get together at uh, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time to do a half hour meditation for Darshan and things. And there you can also meet a number of my students that come. They want to have the Darshan. Um, so they come every week and you're welcome to ask them any questions about the path here, what have been their experiences, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. But community, when you have a community, you have more strength. It's like it says, if you have one cord, it's easily broken, one strand. If you have three or four, it makes it so much stronger. And what was it that Christ said, where three or more gathered, I'm in the midst of them, okay? I can be there. So it's a very beneficial place for people to stay grounded, to stay positive. Uh, you want to pick a community where you can relate where you can relate. Now, if you're out there, and this is the tragedy that happens, kids are out there looking for a community. They don't feel they have enough, and they join a gang, and what happens? They wind up in prison because they've picked a community, or if you are, you know, you have been involved in drugs or something, you need to get away from that community. You need, if you're going to change your life, you need to change your community. If you're changing your life, you need to change the community that you're hanging out with, okay? You want to surround yourself with the community of values that you want to bring into your life, that you want to absorb, that you want to um, uh, be able to uh, move with, okay? Find something that is bringing positivity, that's not creating and engendering fear. We may, um, you know, in this Tarot community, especially when I'm doing with readings with Hogarth and Diane, et cetera, we may come up with some difficult things that are coming up, you know, energetically, like uh, we're coming up on some times where there might be some food shortages. There might be some, so, so it's not a, Thing of creating panic. It's about uh, like the the um, recommendation that was given is when you go to the grocery store, just buy a couple of extra things that can stay that are non-perishable. Okay, canned potatoes or you know pasta or rice or beans, whatever it is you use, and then you can get a few canned meats, tunas. They have chicken. They have all sorts of canned meats and things that you can keep for long term. So again, this is not to engender panics. It's to aid people. Like I said, if you are living in a place and you have a um, hurricanes, tornadoes, or fires coming through, pack up, have a bag ready of your essential things, the most important things, documents, photos, whatever it is, the most important things there, have it in a place that you're ready to go, okay? Just on the off chance that something is coming in and you have to evacuate. You don't wanna wait till time of evacuation to start gathering stuff. Okay, you want to have enough time to get your pets, get your children, get, you know, the most important things. And you've already got your, your bag of, of essential things that you've got to have. If you lost everything else, what is it that you have to, you want to keep no matter what? Those are the things to gather. Okay, those are the things, the things that are irreplaceable, the things that you, you could not replace. Okay, those are the things you want to take with you. Have it on the ready. Okay. So again, community is about establishing a place where you can come together, where you can relax, where you feel like you're getting refueled, that you're getting some energetic things rather than sucking you dry. It's someplace that's aiding to build you, to, to give you something refreshing, okay? A place you can come and be yourself. 
And like I said, the only thing we ask here is that you come and you're not snarky because this is like my living room. You don't want anybody to come in your living room and just take a dump and think that they have, you know, well, I have free speech, so I can just come and take a dump. Yeah, no, huh? it doesn't work that way. <laughs> yeah, I will rapidly show you the exit, okay? And good luck with your journey, but you're not doing that nonsense here, okay? So again, here, um, the first things I give my students are if you live with honesty, integrity, transparency, sacredness, and simplicity, you can't go wrong, okay? You can't go wrong, okay? And no matter what others try to do, others want to try to lie, manufacture, put out something filthy, dirty, nasty, you know within yourself that you have walked a clean path, okay? That you are walking a clean, like the Bible said, you're laying up stuff for yourself in heaven. It's not about, I don't care how much money you get, you can't take any of that with you. The only thing you take with you is your integrity, okay? Your honesty. Those are the things you take with you. What type of a person you have been, how you have walked your journey. What's in your heart and mind, that's what's judged. What is in your heart and mind, okay? Not only the actions, because you know, we have those of the mafia that go and give a lot of money to the church. And meanwhile, behind the scenes, they're out there ordering hits on people, having people killed. But they think if they give a lot of money to the church, that's going to cover over their deeds. But look what I gave, okay? It's a very important thing that the Bible says, too, you know, for those that are doing the evil angel evangelical and lying to people and putting liars on pedestals, okay? And they've exchanged the truth for a lie and they think they get to heaven and they're gonna tell Christ, well, look at, didn't we prophesy in your name? Didn't we heal in your name? You know, we used your name for everything. Get away from me, I never knew you, okay? That's what's gonna be the thing. I don't care how much you say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You know, when you're doing the negative things behind the scenes and think you're covered because you go to a baptism, think again. Okay, think again. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So you have to live a life of integrity. So again, honesty, integrity, transparency, sacredness, Simplicity. Pretty simple, okay? Pretty simple. No little white lie is gonna help you to get ahead. That just opens the door to more lies, okay? And we see so much in politics, those that have exchanged honesty and integrity for the almighty dollar. They've sold out, they've, they've you know, prostituted themselves out for, for money, and you can't take any of that with you, okay? So the community, pick a good community. Pick one that's beneficial, that has good motives, that has, uh, you know, uh, continues to give things which are enlivening, which are going to benefit yourself and benefit others, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. Much love and light. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you online.